Hey guys, this is Hassan and welcome to my channel Hassan Academy. So today we are going to discuss about how you can join to Naipar or how you can take admission to Naipar. Okay. So uh, with time, uh, definitely you will get to know what is the process and all this thing. What you have to do, all this thing you will know. But uh, many junior students also asking me, like uh, they are maybe first year or second year student, that how you can take admission in Naipar. And other than uh, for my student, uh, some other people also can join uh, Naipar for their MS or also for. PhD. Many one uh, think that only pharma student can join NIPA. There is nothing like that. Other than MPharm course, there are many uh, seat out there for uh, other than pharma student also. So you will get to know slowly, slowly all this thing. Okay. So here I will tell about for all uh, all the people who want to join NIPA, like for either MS firm or M firm or M Tech firm or some people like for uh, MBA in pharmaceutical management, all this thing. So everyone. And uh, at the end, I will tell about PhD also. How you can join PhD. And uh, as a JRF also, how you can join to Naipur, okay? So watch this video, whoever interested, watch till last, okay? And if you haven't subscribed this channel, please do subscribe and share to your junior, okay? I am telling here only because many people skip and they don't have passion to wait till last, okay? So just I'm, uh, it is my uh, humble request to do subscribe, okay? So first of all, for uh, uh, whoever want to join for masters, master in pharmacy like M firm or MS firm or M Tech firm, these are all equivalent only. Uh, little bit difference is there individually. You will get to know slowly. So first of all, you have to uh, complete your B pharma or like at the end semester of B pharma, you have to face GPAT exam. Okay. Once you crack GPAT exam, if you are not able to crack GPAT exam, then also you will get opportunity like uh, if you have. Uh, gate qualified or net qualified then also you can sit for NIPA ZWE exam so for condition is to sit NIPA ZWE exam you have to crack any uh, national level exam when I said any national level exam it's not mean that uh, anything like uh, CUET or anything not like that only three exam I want to mention either GPAD or gate or uh, CSR net okay out of these three you have to crack any one of these okay then you can sit for NIPAR ZWE exam and once you like uh, two days back only you guys face NIPAR ZWE exam then you have to wait for NIPAR ZWE result okay when result will come it will come shortly I think because uh, there is no time so it will come very shortly uh, they have to do lot of things also counseling and all so they have lack of time so they will give you a result very uh, within uh, within within a week or within few days okay no need to worry so once you get your NIPAR ZWE result you will get two things out there one is your all India rank one is your category rank suppose your all India rank is 450 and you are belongs to SC category SC category okay uh, schedule class then you will get two rank one is all your all India rank 450 suppose then your SC category will be how much just imagine like uh, it is 45 or 50 okay so you have two uh, two rank now uh, and uh, when you go for counseling after that they will put like uh, counseling uh, uh, what to say uh, counseling letter I mean they will they will send you counseling letter and same time they will uh, do some uh, form fill up and all this thing for counseling at all. okay you have to do their form fill up because you are going to face their counseling you have to pay again some money a uh, little amount of money I think maybe 500 or thousand uh, last time online uh, so it was I think 500 and thousand and now maybe uh, I don't know it, uh, last time it was online so this time it will be offline so I don't know uh, how what will be the fees but it will be a minimal fees only so that you you will get there and you will uh, you have to do the other things so once you reach to counseling then they will give uh, their seat based on all India rank okay they will give their seat based on all India rank but later on when suppose uh, you have any category rank then you will get your seat based on category rank try to understand Suppose your for all India rank is 450 and what I said you are SC category just as an example I took uh, SC category. So till 450 uh, in SC if there is any seed then you will get that okay and suppose uh, till reach uh, 450 there is no seed for SC category everything is finished then there will not be any uh, seed for you but if that till 450 there is some seed left in general okay definitely there will be some seat for sc also just, just i am telling if any seat left in general then you can came 
claim for general seat also so this is one procedure okay so i think last to last year uh, they make some rule that uh, uh, category people can't take general uh, seat but uh, i don't think from government side anything like that uh, so you can take but mostly condition is when you wait for your category seat so only always category seat is there only so you have not to take a general seat or if general seat is finished then only you can come for uh, unreserved seat you are seat okay so it is not like uh, you are 45 uh, 450 all india rank and you are not waiting till that 4, 450 and you are claiming your seat before only you won't get this seat. so this is the process and with time i will explain again what is the exact process to get admission in ms so once you uh, supposed to admission you have to pay one semester fees and admission fees everything out at that time only so it will it will be a huge amount like uh, approx 90000 or 80000 so you have to manage those thing now only okay because some people have to uh, manage uh, this fees and all so i'm telling now only so you have to manage this at that amount and you have to pay uh, during the counseling only you have to pay that and your seat will be booked then when uh, their offline class will be start they will call you and uh, if you are going through like uh, by plane or through train they will come to your uh, railway station or airport and they will welcome you they will take this basically they send their buses for student okay uh, so it will, it will be a good moment because uh, they will welcome you and after that you will join naipur okay and you will do your course and uh, all this thing will be you will get to learn all these things uh, slowly slowly then now i am coming for m pharm uh, pharmaceutical management okay so for you people once you write naipur jw rank first of all your rank should be good then only you will get uh, naipur mba seat because seat is very limited i think 108 seat is there uh, this year if i i don't think it since is 108 or nearby 110 seat only okay only very less seat so once you have completed your written exam naipur jw whatever rank you got if you got good rank then you go there and you have to face they will call for interview once you face uh, interview then they will uh, add they will uh, they have some mark distribution like uh, 80% from your naipur rank then 20% from your whatever gk or not gk like group discussion and personal interview will be there so from there 15 to 20% will come and 80% major will be from naipur jw your score card only okay so at the end they will make one separate uh, rank list or short list they will do short list for whoever is uh, able to join uh, for mba firm okay out there whatever your rank suppose your rank is 45 so you have to wait uh, for mba admission for till 45 your rank and once 45 came you have to see that whether mohali seat is left or hyderabad wherever is there you can take any one of them and if you decide at that time that i don't want to get i i haven't got naipur uh, mohali and hyderabad and ahmedabad is due, newly mba so i don't want to join there better i go for ms then you just qu- qu- quit and you come back Your next day will be ms counseling first initially for mba counseling then next day ms counseling so you can uh, come back and you can go for again ms firm okay there is nothing like that you have select for uh, mba now you are not able to join ms firm or m firm uh, you will get to opportunity but if you take once admission there your uh, rank will be cut for uh, ms firm so you can't come back here okay if you you ignore there then you come back this is the process and at the end for uh, phd people for phd people like for naipur student or any student who ever qualified gped for them uh, let me tell you till 3 years there is a expiration for uh, form fill up um, valid date to form fill up naipur jw okay so if you are in second year of uh, naipur or any stu- any college m uh, m form college then you have gped you just do form fill up for naipur jw phd exam once you uh, complete your phd exam then they will call uh, you or they will uh, give some ranking and based on that you have to go you have to visit their institute for uh, what to say uh, interview once you have done interview you will get one more final shortlisted uh, shortlisted name okay so once you if you able to see that your name is there and good rank then you just go for mba uh, phd uh, counseling phd counseling also a different thing it will be conducted after i think uh, ms m firm and mba things then they will conduct for phd things okay so you face their phd in uh, counseling and if you get any seat you can join and for uh, jrf uh, there is nothing like that they sometimes they uh, uh, 
दे रिलीज सम नोटिफिकेशन लाइक पीपल हू एवर हेड गेट गुड रैंक ऑल इंडिया फाइव हंड्रेड रैंक और दिस दिस कैटेगरी दे राइट समथिंग आइदर दे आर एफ और समथिंग दे आर क्वालिफाइड देन दे कैन जॉइन हियर एज ए जे आर एफ सो वॉट एवर कंडीशन दे हैव रिटर्न यू हैव टू फॉलो और इंटरव्यू इफ इज देयर देन यू हैव टू फॉलो सो दिस इज द डायरेक्ट प्रोसेस टू जॉइन एज ए जे आर एफ बट पी एच डी यू हैव टू रिटर्न सो डेट्स ऑल फ्रॉम माई साइड आई ट्राई टू सेव ऑल दिस थिंग रफली इफ यू हैव एनी कन्फ्यूजन यू कैन टेक्स मी डेट्स ऑल थैंक यू फ्रॉम फॉर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो एंड कीप शेयरिंग थैंक यू बी चिल